3rd of September today and welcome to a vlog. I thought I would vlog this week because I have a few fun things going on. I'm heading into London today for a very exciting event so I will obviously take you with me there but today has been kind of the first proper day of me starting my routine again. Everything kind of goes out the window for me during summer and I don't have much of a routine because there are lots of trips and different things going on and I try and spend time with friends and family a lot during the summer so there isn't really as much structure to my day-to-day -day life as there is any other time of the year. So I used yesterday as kind of like a day to ease myself back in to the routine and today was kind of in at the deep end, alarm set for 6.30, get up, get on with it and I feel much better for it to be honest. I feel good to be back into a routine. When I've been out of it for so long I kind of crave that normalcy again. So we're back. I kind of always look at September as like a a back to school kind of time even though I'm obviously no longer at school for me it still feels like that it feels like the time obviously like I said when I get back into my routine I look at it as a bit of a fresh start time to eat healthy again to exercise more regularly because in the summer those things do go out the window and I like to relax a bit more so there's not much going on in September in terms of my social calendar but work wise it's quite busy so I'm getting back in the, into the routine I love that we are changing seasons now. Everything is just kind of a little bit of a change, which I am enjoying. And I'm looking forward to autumn and winter this year, up until December anyway. Post December, I'm ready for spring again. So this morning I have taken Maple on a lovely walk. I've done a few bits kind of on my phone, admin things, emails, that kind of stuff. And I've just made myself a peppermint tea. I am not a hot drinks person. I don't normally drink tea. I don't really like it that much and I don't like coffee. So I am a hot chocolate kind of girl. And in the summer, you can't really order a hot chocolate. People do give you a strange look, unless it's like a exceptionally chilly day. It's always a surprise to the barista whenever I order a hot chocolate. So I found a new love for peppermint tea, which is nice because it means I have a grown up drink. To order when my friends order a coffee. I've made myself one of those, a bit too hot at the moment, so I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm gonna take one of my Epitome, Epitome capsules. These are so good, I'm almost run out, so I'm gonna to have to order myself some more, but they have really regulated my digestive system, which is fantastic, and they look cute too. So I'm gonna take one of these with a glass of water. So as I said, I'm heading into London today for an event, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat still seems to be a little bit croaky. It's an event with a jewellery brand I love, Olivia Burton, and I'm gonna be wearing a few of their pieces, so I will show you them before I leave, if I have time. I seem to be running a bit late now. I've only got just over an hour to get ready, which it should be fine, but I don't actually know what I'm wearing yet. So that is what is gonna take the time, is deciding what outfit to go for because it's quite humid today. What's the temperature? Well, it's only 17 degrees. I thought it was gonna be warmer than that. It says it's gonna be sunny this afternoon. I'm just, I'm a bit kind of all over the place now. I don't know whether to go autumn. I don't know whether to kind of stick with a little bit of summer and a bit more of a transitional look. I'm not sure today. But I do have a new blazer from H&M that I know I definitely want to wear. And I know you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you that. The task at hand is to get myself ready, get out the door, onto the train, and to the event. This is another one of those events where I actually don't know who's going. So I kind of don't really think about that too much anymore. I used to be very much like, oh my god, I can't go if I don't know anyone else that's going. I'm sure I will know of girls that will be there, or maybe one of my friends will be there and I just haven't communicated with them that I'm going, I'm not sure. There's always somebody that you know and if there isn't, everybody's normally really, really friendly anyway. So I'm kind of getting a bit more confident with these things now and I'm not asking for the guesses anymore. I'm just going. I always get a little bit of anxiety come over me just before I go into these sort of things, but I know I'll be fine. I always look at it as this is such 
a lovely thing that I get to do with my job. I'm not really sure what to do with my hair today. I might actually use my GHD curling wand because the weather is a bit hit and miss. It's been raining. It rained all day yesterday and it rained in the night. So I feel like the air is a little bit moist and that is just not good for air wrapped hair. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe a curling wand today just to give it a little bit of extra hold. So I'm gonna finish doing my makeup, do my hair, and then I'll catch up with you when I'm deciding on an outfit. So I've put a little wave through my hair and this is outfit option number one. This is the blazer that I said that I wanted to show you guys from H&M. I'm obsessed with it. It's such a beautiful color. It's suede, obviously, so perfect for autumn. And it just looks really expensive. It wasn't, I think it was like 49.99, so it wasn't massively pricey. But I just thought this would be so good for autumn. I already have a suede kind of crop jacket. So I thought something a bit more oversized like this will be really, really useful in my wardrobe. And I've kind of gone a little bit summery here on the bottom half with this skirt. So this is from Madewell and it's a really nice like white like floaty skirt and then I've got this vest on from it's not a vest it's like a short sleeve top from Pretty Lavish but I think I might change this to a different vest because this is really cream and the skirt is really white so I might go for like a slightly whiter vest underneath and then I've just got my little flip-flop heels on and a Melia bag but I don't know if this is all a bit too much I've got a trouser option so I might try that on as well. I don't know, I do quite like it and I wanna kind of make the most of this skirt and this kind of dressing. I don't know, it's not exactly sunny today so I'm gonna try on the trousers and you can let me know what you think. So we are going with trousers, but I have changed the look up slightly. I've gone for a whiter vest top so it makes it look a bit less workwear. I tried the Zara trousers on. I can't remember if I even showed you, I don't think I even showed you them on, but they, I don't know, they're a bit of a shorter length and I just felt like with the knit kind of high neck top, it looked too much like I was going to the office. So I've swapped the knitted top for a vest top and I've swapped my Zara trousers for these meshki ones, which are nice and long. And I think it just makes it look a little bit more casual. I've got all my Olivia Burton jewelry on. Everything I'm wearing today is from them. These beautiful kind of like drop hoop earrings stunning necklace as well and then on my wrist i have my two-tone watch which i just think is gorgeous and then matching bracelet to the necklace and earrings really beautiful pieces their new full collection is stunning so i am off i need to get my train in about i think it's like 20 minutes oh it's raining oh i'm gonna take an umbrella with me i think because i don't want to risk turning up disheveled and i also don't want to get this suede jacket wet so not ideal, it didn't say rain today on the weather forecast. But anyway, this is the final look. Nice transitional outfit for September. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm at the event. guys excuse this really weird angle uh, I need to get something to rest my camera on in the car I think it's me peeking over the steering wheel sorry I didn't vlog very much of the event it was a little bit of a whirlwind because I had to do posts for the brand whilst I was there and I had to get all the content for that the vlog just got neglected unfortunately but I did get some nice snippets of the food and the jewelry and the pieces are so gorgeous so it's currently five o'clock which is a little bit later than I wanted to get home i wanted to get home at half four but it's only half an hour later so it's not too bad i'm gonna go in now i've got some emails to send that aren't work related which i think are probably going to take me quite a long time annoyingly and then i'm just gonna relax this evening i'm gonna sort out my pr drawer as well i have this drawer in my bedroom that i try and keep empty and anything new pr wise that i get i just chuck it in there i always like to try and have it quite turned over so that i'm emptying things putting things away it's literally full to the brim at the moment so i've got no space for anything new that arrives so 
I need to go through that. I might do that today or I might do it tomorrow. I'm going to pop to HomeSense tomorrow as well. I thought that would be quite fun on the vlog and then I'm back in London on Thursday. So I'm going to end today's little snippet here and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. All the girlies loved this blazer, by the way. Everyone was so nice about it. They were like, where's your blazer from? Where's your jacket from? It went down very well. So I'm going to link it down below and hopefully it comes back in stock. She's been a cheeky little girl this morning. Normally while I do Pilates, she just sits on the sofa and watches. But this morning she was climbing all over me, weren't you? And licking me and just wanted to be involved. Um, so it is a Wednesday today. I'm just going to send oh, a few emails that are fairly urgent. And then I'm actually going to go to HomeSense. I haven't been to HomeSense for ages. And I just fancied a little mooch around. I don't think I'm really going to buy anything. But I just wanted to kind of look, see what they've got in there, take you guys with me. And then I'm going to come back. I've got a new bag, which I'll unbox with you, which is very exciting. And I'm going to sort out that drawer that I keep going on about because I was going to do it yesterday, but I just didn't have the energy. So I put it off and today has got to be the day. Also got a new Vali order, which I thought might be quite nice to show you guys. I haven't really opened that yet. So I'm going to have a look through that. And that is the plan for today. A nice chilled day after running around London yesterday. I'm trying to kind of ease myself back into the full routine. Luckily, I'm pretty prepped in terms of work. I don't have a YouTube video basically to go up today, which is annoying. I did, but it's waiting on brand approval. So sorry that there was no video on Wednesday the 4th. I had planned it, but... There was like a delay with products and then approval. So yeah, I didn't have another one ready to go, which is unlike me, but this vlog will be up shortly after. And then hopefully I won't miss any more in the weeks to come because I haven't missed an upload in so, so long. I did talk about a little while ago, maybe cutting down to one video a week instead of two, but I didn't have to do that. Luckily I managed to keep it going. So I want to continue it if I can, because I really am enjoying YouTube at the moment, despite constantly saying I'm stuck for ideas. I am really enjoying it. And I think as we get deeper into the new season, that's really going to help me and inspire me. So I am going to try and keep it up. Yeah, apologies that there was no video last Wednesday. I've got a completely makeup free face today. So that is why I'm looking a little bit different to yesterday, but my skin is actually really good at the moment. You probably can't tell because this light is dreadful and this hat is giving me such dark circles, but my skin has been really quite healthy and I want to keep it that way. So I'm just going to have a no makeup day today. I've literally just got my skincare on and an extra layer of SPF. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to send a couple of emails. I've got some returns to do and then I'm going to head to HomeSense, have a little mooch and probably come back and have my lunch and tackle the draw, the draw do. So I have just got back in the car after having a little browse around HomeSense and there were some lovely pieces. Found some really nice little bottles that I thought would be great in like the bathroom to put hand wash and hand cream in. But I didn't end up picking them up. I don't want to buy too much stuff and get ahead of myself. So I just picked up a few little pieces. There was also, oh my God, an amazing coffee table. I think I showed you a clip of that and that was reduced to 200 pound. It was so beautiful, lovely marble top and a really nice like wooden stand. There's no point in me buying that. So I'll show you what I did buy. I couldn't leave without a candle. So I got this really cute one. It has like a little lid that says sage and it smells like sage. 
it's really beautiful. It says fresh sage, smooth saffron and fragrant lavender over a base of warm cedar, patchouli and eastern amber balanced with soft citrus fruits. So there's a lot going on there, but that was only $7.99 and I just really liked the plain black kind of casing and the lid. And I also got this, which is kind of random. Ooh, and I just saw this last minute, but it's dog bowls. And I'd originally picked up a wooden one with cream bowls. And then I saw this one with the wooden stand and marble top. I just thought this was so cute for Maple. It's just the perfect size for her. And I think it will look so nice. And I did read somewhere that it's really good to have like dog... <laughs> Sorry, they keep clinking. I did read somewhere it's really good to have your dog bowls on a little, a little stand so they aren't straining their neck too much. So, anything for maple. This was only $14.99, which I thought was such a good price. Oh, it's really heavy. That's it for my little home sense trip. I'm gonna go home now and get on with the rest of my day. It's only 11 o'clock, so that's quite nice. I thought it would be quite quiet down here, but it's always so busy in these retail parks. But there's nowhere else here I really want to go to. They do have a b and but I can't be bothered for that today and I never really find anything I like in there anyway so just gonna head home now and get on with my day maybe have some lunch I'm quite peckish I'm finally getting around to this drawer it looks like it's mainly just full of beauty products I think but I just haven't had the time to go through so I'm gonna look through them now nice little bits from Tatcha a lip mask a lip scrub and a lip treatment very nice. Two products from the Exfoliate range. My favourite is Hydrocate. If you have dry skin or you just want your skin to feel super hydrated, the Hydrocate range is so good. It's just like putting water on your skin like, and it lasts for so long. Absolutely love it. Some bits from Givenchy. Loose powder. Nice. Right, I'm going to speed this up because it's probably going to be quite boring. Okay, sorry, but isn't this just a little bit crazy? This is all the stuff that was in that drawer that I've been sent recently, and I just can't quite get over it. When you look at it all like this, I just feel so lucky. I'm gonna sort through these now, and obviously you're gonna keep some of them because there are some brands here that I absolutely love and some products that I use religiously, but I am gonna maybe put some goodie bags together as well, give some bits away, see if my mum wants any of it because this is an excessive amount for one person. I do try and say no to quite a lot of gifting if I don't think I'm gonna use it or if I don't know the brand and know the products because I just don't need this much stuff. Just eating a Givenchy biscuit, don't mind me. But yeah, sometimes it gets, um, without me knowing. And sometimes a brand will send like a product in every shade. So I'm gonna go through it now. See if I can put some goodie bags together for maybe some friends. Maybe you guys, let me know if you want me to ever do any giveaways or stuff like that. I'm not sure if giveaways are really a thing anymore, but if any of you would like a, a bundle of, of goodies, then please do let me know. But I'm gonna sort through now. And hopefully this drawer will be pretty empty by the time I finish. I've just got to find a space for all of this stuff now. Oh, good. As promised, here is a little sneak peek of one of my new bags that I got recently for autumn. I just think this is so beautiful. I've just filmed an unboxing of it to go over on Instagram and TikTok. So I have already opened it up, but it's so beautiful. I couldn't wait to show you guys. I'm going to be styling it up with some other new in autumn pieces that I have in a YouTube video coming soon. But it is from Palen, which is one of my favourite mid-luxury handbag brands. I actually used my sign bag today uh, when I went to HomeSense. But this is the new little one. Let me take the bubble wrap out from there so you can see it better. This is the Santal. And this is in the grain leather and the color I think is sandalwood. It actually looked a lot more burgundy on the website and it's a lot more brown in real life, but it's still beautiful. And it's gonna go with so many things I already have. It has a similar clasp to my Songmont bag and opens up like this. I'm gonna keep that packaging inside of it because I do not want it 
to lose its shape when I'm not wearing it, but I just think it's so beautiful, such a cute colour. Also comes with a long strap, so you can wear it cross body, but I just think top handle handheld is gonna be so nice. Has a really nice engraving of the brand name here on the top. And I just think the shape of it is gorgeous, so I'm really excited to wear this. Like I said, it's gonna go with so much of my autumn wardrobe. So I'm gonna put that back in the dust bag, keep it safe. And then I thought I'd show you my Varley order because I just literally quickly glanced at this when it arrived the other day, but I haven't properly opened it. I absolutely love Varley. It is one of my favorite brands for more casual kind of loungewear. I have so many pieces from them. Their double soft range is just unbelievable. It really is doubly soft. Like unless you felt it, you won't realize how soft it is. I've got some really nice pieces in here for the autumn. I'm actually going to Devon only for like, I think it's like three days at the end of the month. And I just wanted some like really comfy clothes. We're just gonna be relaxing, going on walks. It's gonna be a very chilled kind of staycation. So I just wanted some really comfy bits to wear. And I think these are gonna be perfect. First off, I got a hat. This is a really nice like cord chocolate brown cap. I really love this. Just says a barley on the front. Again, oh, so, so soft. Yeah, really like this. Cute. Doesn't quite work with the French plait, but very nice. Put the box down, it's too big. So we have a couple of pairs of tracksuits. This one is in a bit of a different color that I wouldn't normally go for. So first up we have this sweatshirt and a beautiful like olive green color don't mind the olive tree just always getting in the way it's a full zip up really nice and long line again double soft and i just really like this color i thought it was really nice for autumn really nice for my kind of countryside wardrobe and then i have the matching joggers as well which i love i already have a pair of these in the gray and they are so comfortable I'm also thinking I might wear this for traveling when I go on holiday in October because it's gonna be so comfortable. Second tracksuit set. These are, again, a pair of joggers. These are the same kind of color and material of the ones I already have, but they're slightly different because they have pockets and they have a more elasticated bottom, whereas the others is like a thick elasticated bottom. So they are a little bit different, a little bit more kind of slouchy and oversized. And then my favorite piece, to go with that is this beautiful kind of like half knit, half sweatshirt in the same marl grey. And then it has a knitted cuff on the sleeve and a knitted neck as well. And I just cannot wait to wear these sets. I think they're gonna be so cozy, really comfortable. They're gonna be perfect for my little holiday, but they're also gonna be great for like around the house, for traveling, for running errands. Almost forgot, I got a pair of socks as well. I just thought these were so nice. I love the chocolate brown color. Got a little like beige stripe. Really cute. I think they say, yeah, they say Valion in the middle there. Two cute accessories as well as some tracksuit sets. So I'm sure you'll see those on at some point on my YouTube channel. So this is what I'm having for my lunch today. Just a little bit of scrambled egg with some bagel thins. These are the Warburton's ones. And then on the top, I just put a little bit of this truffle dust from Truffle Guys, and it just makes all the difference. I just am obsessed with it. It's such a good little seasoning for your eggs. Good morning, everyone. Is it still morning? Yes, it's morning for five more minutes. I am sat on the sofa in my dressing gown, about to eat my lunch, which I'm pretty sure is where I left you yesterday. I've just got a repeat of the truffle scrambled eggs. And I wouldn't normally sit in the lounge and eat my lunch on the sofa, but I have just started watching that new Olivia Atwood show, Bad Boyfriends, and I really just want to continue it, so I'm going to sit on the sofa and watch it while I eat my lunch. It's so good, it's just classic trash TV. It is well and truly autumn today. I've had to have the lights on up in my bedroom because it's been so dark. The weather is just atrocious. It's so gloomy. It's been raining pretty much all day. I'm heading into London later this afternoon. So I'm going to eat my lunch now at home so I don't have to buy anything while I'm out. 
and I'm going to do a little bit of work as well. I've already filmed a reel and a TikTok this morning, so I'm going to try and edit them. Or I was thinking I might actually take my laptop with me and edit on the train. So I'm making the most of my time because I'm only in London for a short time this afternoon. So I want to get as much done as possible today because it's Friday tomorrow and I like to take things a little bit easier on a Friday. Easier than sitting on the sofa eating scrambled egg, watching reality TV, I know. But I like to do like food shop, cleaning, all that kind of stuff on a Friday. So I wanna get as much done today as possible. I'm gonna eat my lunch before it gets cold. And then yeah, I'll uh, get myself ready and get on the train. So I'm all ready to head into London. And this is my outfit. I was gonna wear my trench coat. You can kind of see it hanging up behind me, but I just felt like this wool jacket looked better. This is old from Zara, I got this last year. It's just a really nice kind of oversized wool jacket. Don't mind my active wear on the bed. I've got this pretty lavish top on underneath, which I had on earlier because I was filming in it. I just thought it's a really nice basic. So I'll keep that on. Cos jeans, which are my favorite jeans at the moment. Prada Ballet Fats. And then I've got my Palen bag so that I can fit my laptop in and do some editing on the train because I haven't got everything done that I wanted to get done and it stresses me out when I don't. So I'm gonna take my laptop with me, head to the Katie Loxton event. I think it's like a, quite a big showroom. Normally I don't tend to go to these drop-in events because they are quite short. You're just kind of in and out and it takes me an hour to get into London. So it's gotta be really worth it. But you guys know I love Katie Loxton. I use their pieces all the time so I'm making the effort to pop in today and I'm really excited to see their new autumn winter collections and their new Christmassy bits as well they do fab gifts around Christmas time I will take you with me and show you around I hope you guys can hear me okay I have come to the Katie Watson event I got caught in a little bit of a downpour I literally started to hail so I ran into Zara but I made it there I just thought to myself, oh, why am I here? What am I doing? I also have two massive blisters on either heel from my um, Prada flats, which don't normally give me blisters. So I'm not quite sure why that happened. I wonder if it was because my feet were a little bit wet uh, from all the rain. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was still really lovely to go and see all the new Katie Loxton stuff you've seen it on the vlog but I'm gonna end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog spending a few days with me seeing what I got up to I look like an absolute jam rat so I've just put my hair up in this clip thank god I took it with me if you did enjoy this it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you're new to my channel I would absolutely love it if you could subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video bye